Mosley had soon got all the trucks arranged, and they had all left the yard, where they need to go. But he was still trying to shunt DC around, who was still trying to apply his brakes, and was not helping the situation. Oh, just come on, DC, stop being so troublesome! DC just growled. He didn't want to move. He didn't trust Mosley, he only trusted his creators. Just move, you stupid steam tender, just move! He screamed. And just as if on cue, Ryan had come back from the logging depot. Or depot. I don't know how you pronounce it in the UK. Wish I do, but I just don't care. Well, Mosley, you need some help there, then? Well, I'd like some help, Ryan, because your silly little creation here is not actually moving. He just keeps applying his brakes and won't move. All right, all right, yeah, whatever. But what the hell happened over there? Ryan looked over and saw the accident and what had happened. Alex had got a crane, well, Rocky, and they were clearing up the mess that Lord Neville had made. Now, hold on one minute. I want to have a look at this, said Ryan. So he went to have an inspection. So you're just going to leave me to solve your stupid tender here? Hey, Alex, what's up? Uh, not much. I'm just helping Rocky clear up this mess that Lord Neville had made. Well, what happened then? Well, apparently, he was taking those scrap trucks over there that were, used, that were going to be used for target practice. And, um, pretty much, he, uh, he took them, but then he, his tender derailed and hit the bridge. Which also hit the control tower on the top of the station, near the station. So then he crashed into that and the whole building came collapsing down. And now he's in a right old mess. And he's blocking the entrance from the bridge. Oh, I see then. Well, I'll go have a look then, said Ryan as he had a closer look. Well, 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 said Ryan. If it isn't Lord Neville being a clumsy clogs and crashed into the building. You shut up there, you common diesel shunter. I was trying to take to a job, but my stupid dummy thick tender came off the track. And it hit the control tower by accident. <laughs> oh, you clumsy little cunt. You silly, silly bugger. Now you've blo completely blocked up the entrance for the uh, the tunnel over the bridge. I know that, Captain Obvious. Oh, is it because I've got a hat? Ha 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 ha. If I had no hat, I'd look bold. I'm bold? Yes. Fuck! Ryan oiled away back to over to Mosley to see if he needed any help. Alright, Mosley, just uncouple from DC and I'll take it from here. Um, okay, I guess. So Mosley backed up. Ryan switched over points and coupled up to DC. DC instantly moved. Hold on, what? Oh, is it because you, you've got your out-of-scale powers you could actually shunt DC? What's this bullshit? I don't know. I think he only just likes me and Holden because we, we created him. Well... But that doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. How? Why? But... Uh, it's a long story, I guess, then. Come on, DC. Let's try and help out at least some way. DC happily obliged, as they both rolled down to try and clear up any scrap in the way. Rocky was most glad that Ryan and DC were helping, so he would pick up bits of scrap and drop them into DC to take away. After a while... Bits of the building had been cleared away, and they were loaded up into the trucks, while Rocky was still clearing up and loading up the trucks with scrap. Soon it was time for Rocky to couple up to Neville and pull him out of the wreckage. With a lot of heaving and hauling, he managed to pull Neville out of the wreck. He looked quite silly. He had a bit of tubing from the control tower in his funnel, a brick on his boiler, and some grass. There was a bit a plank of wood on his buffer beam too. 
they soon retrieved his tender as well, which had a bit of brake gear on it. And some piping as well. Soon Ryan decided to help couple them both up. To help couple Neville and his tender back up. All right then, Neville, there you go. You can get out of here now. Luckily, Neville was able to still move under his own steam. So as quickly as he could, he puffed out, out of the area without saying a word. All right, DC, we can, you can clear this place up now. Ryan and DC soon got to work as DC ploughed all of the wreckage of the building away to make clear of the path. And he was flying too. After a little while, the path was mostly clear and Alex could take Rocky over to pick up bits of scrap. Well, I guess we better get moving then, DC. Come on, Mosley, we better head back to the roundhouse. Sir, Sir Gerald will be wondering where we are. I thought it was Mr. Gerald. Apparently he's getting his knighthood tomorrow. Huh, okay then. Onwards, Ryan and DC. Let's go. And soon, the three friends, well, two brothers and a friend, cousin, I don't know, son, maybe, Soon head off back to the roundhouse. Fuck, there's a big old accident, damn it.